Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. It is our special Made in Utah segment. I'm joined by Sherry Oneida with Sue Salsa, and I am so excited to test this again. I tried it a couple of weeks ago. Joe's just about cleaned your chips out here because he's been <laughs> tasting it ever since you came That's in. But right. welcome to the show. How are Thank you, Sherry? You. Thank you. I'm very good, and Wonderful. I'm very excited to be here today. Oh, so. we are always thrilled to have food in studio, and especially locally made food. So to begin with, tell me a little bit about the story of how this Sue Salsa came about because the title is uh, kind of interesting. <laughs> yes, so um, my son, my oldest son, mm -hmm. I have two boys, one's 26 and one is 28, and he um, took Spanish in junior high. And when he'd come home from school, he'd say, Sue Mama, Sue Mama, where are you? Where Practicing are you? those, yeah, you know, using those his words. little skills. Yeah, right? the, the few he had, it sounds <laughs> like exactly. I <laughs> exactly. And so um, I'd say, I'm over here, and he'd tell me about his day, and we'd, right. we'd go over what happened at school. And then pretty soon he'd come home and he'd stop saying Mama. So he would say, Sue, hey Sue, where are you? Where are you? And um, my nickname became Sue. So all of his friends started to call me Sue. So um, that's kind of how the name, uh, my nickname is actually Sue. So when I decided to make salsa and put it out onto the market, um, I decided to have it called Sue Salsa because to me it means Sherry Salsa because that's my nickname. But in Spanish, it actually means your salsa. Yeah, so it has a, that fun double meaning there. Well, that's pretty great. I love stories like that. That's really awesome. And tell me a little bit about what it's been like starting your own uh, line of food here in Utah. Of course, you're well known for locally owned businesses. What's that experience? been like for you? Well, I'm going to tell you, it's been very, very exciting. A lot of work and mm -hmm. a lot of detail-oriented information that you had to come up with and go through. But right. basically, I, I made salsa out of my home for years and years. And um, my family and friends, my children, we all grew up on it. And they kept telling me, you need to put it on the market. You need to share this with everybody because it's just so yummy. So. I finally decided I was going to do that, and it was quite the process to find a manufacturing company that was um, going to do a good job for me and be able to bottle it. I had to design labels. I had to go through nutrition, information, facts. Um, there's just a lot of steps and processes that you go through in order to get it onto the market. So you should remember as part of that, there's definitely a side that maybe you didn't think you would ever be doing, but now you know how to do. And speaking of, you are in Whole Foods. It is quite the process to be accepted into Whole Foods because they have a certain standard of food that they allow into that store. What was that like? Yes, exactly. They have a, a large process that you go through, um, a lot of um, packets, information, insurance, um, nutrition facts. It has to be all approved, mm -hmm. which is really exciting, too, because I consider my salsa to be 100% um, natural. Mm -hmm. It totally fits within the market of what um, they recommend and suggest. And um, it, it's fun to watch other people come and try it. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing samplings at the store, it's fun to have people to be able to tell them this is my recipe, this is my salsa, and I'm putting it on the market, and it's amazing. And a lot of people that shop at Whole Foods um, have special dietary needs, and so mm -hmm. the first thing they do is they'll look at the ingredients, and they're very excited to see that it is something that is a standard for Whole Foods. Excellent. Let's talk a little bit about, about the ingredients you have in here. <laughs> this is pretty great. Yeah, so um, I think that when you taste the salsa, and I encourage everybody to come out and sample it, I'm always mm -hmm. at one of the Whole Foods in Utah on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it has a distinctive lime cilantro flavor in the beginning. And then um, as you swallow it, you get a little kick of, of heat. But then it goes away, and it's, it settles down, and then it it makes you want to have more. Ooh, well, speaking of, uh, it's about my turn to try it, <laughs> I think, because Joe's already tried plenty of it. Let's dish some up here. Well, you absolutely should. So. Um, You'll have to tell me what you think. I know Joe, he's he's been over here sampling. <laughs> he's sampling already given his review and it's very positive. But there you it's go. A glowing review. I know. Thank so you. you can go ahead well, we and can like drink these too, you right? Can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we we actually enjoy it on it's yummy yummy on scrambled eggs, hash browns. Mm. It's really good on grilled chicken, fish. Of course, um, Mexican fish. food. Yes. Um, and That's fantastic. just chips and salsa just for your favorite snack. And it's healthy too. So you know what? this is the right kind of spicy for me because usually I I have a little freak out if it's way too hot. This yeah. is perfect. Yeah. I yeah. love it. Because you're like, okay, it can't yeah. be too hot. And a lot of people will say that too. Well, is it spicy? Is it not spicy? And I just encourage everybody to try it because mm -hmm. everybody's palate is a little bit different and you right. all kind of taste things differently. And but. you mentioned eggs. That's why when I, right when I tasted it, I was like, mm, I need this on my scrambled eggs in the morning or something. So right? I love salsa on eggs. So that is the perfect idea for it. I'm so glad you reminded me of that. Yeah. So, so oh, I, it's, it's been me and um, my son, actually my oldest son, the one that called me Sue, mm -hmm. is actually helping me with it. So he's my my chief executive 
officer for marketing. Nice. And, um, he's like, I'm, you owe that name to me <laughs> because right. he came up with it. <laughs> exactly. So he's been helping me and he's been a great help. So it's a lot of fun having him on board. And so between the two of us, we're getting the business out there and we'd love to expand it nationwide, hopefully. Excellent. Well, yeah. I can see that you're doing a lot of great new things and exciting things with Sue Salsa. So last thing, what advice would you give to those out there looking to, I mean, because this, I mean, when you made it, you weren't expecting to put it in Whole Foods. That, that wasn't your idea. You're just like, oh, this is, this is really good, right? Yes. So if someone else out there has a hobby or something they're developing, what advice or what's a tip you would give them to help them move <laughs> forward? Because it can be kind of scary, right? It is. It is a little bit scary, a little, if you, it, always when you're trying to do something mm -hmm. new, it is a process that you have to go through. And if you just think of it as one step at a time, instead of the whole picture, just taking baby steps, getting to where you want to be. But I would encourage anybody that is interested in starting their own business or doing something on their own like that to go for it. I think it's it's wonderful, it's exhilarating, it makes you feel amazing and it it's so fun to share something that you're so passionate about with mm -hmm. other people. And it's wonderful because there is an incredible network right here in the state of Utah that works to help businesses exactly like yours. And so you know you'll always have you know, a friend, a neighbor, someone within that group to assist you on your journey to accomplish this, this goal because it, you really have. It's quite amazing to see that happen. Exactly, and Whole Foods has been amazing to work with too. I am very, very excited to work with them. So. Excellent, and we can actually find you at some Whole Foods occasionally giving out samples, right? Yes, I'm there every Saturday um, at a different one. There's the four locations here in, in Utah, and um, the fifth location will be opening soon out in Draper. And so when that opens, I'll be out there as well. But every Saturday, if you go from store to store to store, you'll find me standing <laughs> You can there. find her at all of them and, and get some samples. Or That's just right. buy your own, and that way you don't have to depend on that. You can exactly. have it all. That's exactly. the idea. You well, can. thank you so much, Sherry. Okay, Appreciate that. We can find you. you online, right? Yes, absolutely. I'm at um, suesalsa.net. Very good. And um, you can like us on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, whatever else out there. But yeah, definitely buy some, love it, eat it, and buy some more. <laughs> <laughs> buy some more. You'll want some more after tasting that. So thank you, you very thank you. much, thank Sherry. You very and much. thank you. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us for our Made in Utah segment. We'll be right back after this break. When we do, we're talking about Chick Fest. And this involves everything to help you feel inspired. We're talking about memoir. That's coming up next.